14 succession claims were heard, but only two were truly considered. Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, the king's eldest descendant, and her younger cousin, Prince Viserys Targaryen, the king's eldest male descendant. Prince of Dragon's Home! Rhaenys, a woman, would not inherit the Iron Throne. The Lords instead chose Viserys. My father. Jaehaerys called the Great Council to prevent a war. You will not be disappointed. When I look at the fine knights in these lists, I see a group without equal in our histories. I would humbly ask for the favor of the queen who never was. Good fortune to you, cousin. I would gladly take it if I thought I needed it. You could have the ruffian's tongue for that. Tongues will not change the succession. Let them wag. Celebrate the birth of our future king. Oh. With wanting violence. It's been 70 years since King Maegor's end. These knights are as green as summer grass. None have known real war. Their lord sent them to the tourney field with fists full of steel and balls full of seed. And we expect them to act with honor and grace. It's a marvel that war didn't break out of first blood. Grace. I'm glad we could meet. I know tempers ran hot today, but I wanted to assure you how much I value the bond between our houses. Maynese is my favorite cousin after all. I wish to apologize for the tenor at the small council today, Your Grace. It was not my intent to make offense. Your fleet is one of the realm's most important assets, Lord Corlys. But you must understand, as king, it is my obligation to avoid war until such time it is unavoidable. None among us desire open war. Might I speak plainly, Your Grace? I always welcome the unfettered thoughts of my council. I fear that the eyes of our enemies are presently fixed on the Red Keep. The Queen has passed. A girl has been named heir to the Iron Throne, the first in its history. The king's brother, so disinherited, has claimed the Targaryen seat on Dragonstone without challenge. And now a foreign power has established a colony in our most critical shipping lane. You paint such an aspirant portrait of my reign, Lord Corlys. It is an honest one, cousin. At the moment, the crown is perceived as being vulnerable. And a blind incursion in the Stepstones is the only way to demonstrate that we are not? To elude a storm. You can either sail into it or around it, but you must never await its coming. Do you have a specific course of action to propose, my lord? Join our families. Wed our daughter, Lena. Unite the two great surviving Valerian houses. With the Targaryen dragons and the Valerian fleet bound in blood, you can show the realm that the crown's strongest days are ahead. Not behind. I must admit, I haven't given marriage much thought. It hasn't even been half a year since Emma passed. The realm expects you to take a new wife sooner or later, Grace. To strengthen your line and produce more heirs. You could not ask for a stronger match than Lena. 